master your hip rotation in the downswing. So today's video is specifically about the way the hips work in the downswing. It's a common occurrence that happens when I'm coaching a lot of golfers. And today I want to highlight how the hips work on the downswing and how that can benefit your game. Okay, so what I'm referring to is once we're assuming you've got into a, a good position at the top of the backswing, what I'm referring to is, is how the hip movement on the way down rotates and comes down into a really good impact position, which can affect your ball striking, your distance and the consistency. What I tend to see with a lot of golfers that I teach is that as they come down to the ball, I find that they're unable to turn the hips and as they come down, the hips stay very square on and there's no opening, no rotation of the hips. If we, if we do that from this angle here, again, I see from here too much arms just pulling down. We see a lot of early extension and when the, when, when the hips stay so, so square on, they're losing the control, they're losing the speed and the power by not understanding how to rotate on the downswing. Okay, so let's think about how the synchronization of the body works in the golf swing. Okay, so once we get up to the, the top of the backswing, where the weight is spiraling up the, up the body, so that's from left ankle to right shin, left shin to right thigh, left thigh to, to right hip, left hip to right ab, left ab to right shoulder. So we are coiling up, okay? As we get to the top of the backswing, we're, we're coiling up to the backswing where we are fully loaded on the backswing. And the downswing really is the opposite of that, so the absolute reverse, okay? So what we're saying now then is that the first move should be into the ground, okay? So I'm pushing into my left foot, okay? My lead side, I'm, I'm pushing into that lead side and then I'm gradually unwinding, okay? So you can see that my legs are the first thing to go from here. I'm driving into the legs, the hips are then unwinding, then the body's opening out, and then finally the club's getting delivered, okay? What I see in so many golfers is the opposite, okay? They get to the top of the backswing and they don't use the lower body at all. They just pull down with the club head. We see this classic early release where I've seen so many golfers, they just pull down, club head overtakes the hands. And if, if you're somebody that does this when you know the result, you know, it's a lack of low point control, poor ball striking, more than likely you're just gonna pop it up in the air with, with no penetration at all. So we need to get you thinking about starting at the ground and working up. So I want you to start by doing some slow swings, even some broken down swings to get the feeling, okay? Because this is quite a big change, but if you can get it, you're gonna see some big benefits from it. So if I take my, my setup here as a practice swing, I'm gonna get to the top and then I'm gonna go really slow in the downswing. I'm feeling the hips turning, I'm feeling the weight shifting, I'm feeling the body opening, and all of a sudden we can see quite a different appearance to the body and the way the club's being delivered. We'll see straight away, it stays on plane. We're not throwing it over the top. Okay, so from there, I'm going really slow. I'm opening out. I'm letting the, the, the club naturally come down on plane. And then we're getting into this nice impact position and we can just naturally release through, okay? And again, don't be afraid to hit shots like that. So just go, Super slow, start at the ground, and then naturally release through. In addition to these slow swings, I would do some broken down swings. So I would go up to the top, open out like so, and then just, just hit some shots. Okay, so get a feeling for that hip movement. So if I go to the top, let's bring a ball into play, up to the top, opening out and getting a feel for it there okay so if i do that a little bit slower we're going to go to the top open out and then just feel that movement coming through again you'll see those hips really rotating hard 
through the ball. Stay tuned to the final part. I'm going to give you a simple drill that's really going to help you. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you might have already seen this drill, but let's, let's show you once more. All you need is an alignment stick. You're going to pop it through your belt hoops on your trousers or your shorts. And it's very much a visual drill. Okay, so we've got the alignment stick either side here of the hips. And the idea is that as we, so if we, if we say this is zero degrees, as we come down, we want to try and get that hip movement to 45 degrees. Okay, again, from this down the line view up to the top, rotate, get those hips to 45 degrees. That's going to give you that visual aid that you're looking for. Quite often we can't see it, we can't feel it. If you're a culprit of this, you might very well be just pulling down. Hips aren't turning at all. And that's obviously going to affect the, uh, the low point control. Up to the top, turn the hips, rotate in, and then swing through. Hope you found that useful today, guys. If you would like a more tailored approach to your left, to your game, check out my Skillist profile in the description box below where you can get 25% off an individual lesson or a monthly program. As always, please like and subscribe. Post any comments down below. Look forward to seeing you again very soon.